In this tutorial, we will explore the difference between a time charter contract and a voyage charter contract. And what we want to examine is the volatility between both contracts. In this example, we are looking at VLCC ships. A voyage contract for a VLCC would normally be expressed in time scale or dollars per ton. However, this example can be converted to a time charter equivalent, and we have shown examples of this. Here, the data we have is time charter equivalent data. We have two time series, one for one year time charter and one for voyage charter, which we refer to as VLCC earnings. The first column is time, and we can see that the data starts from 2006 and goes all the way to 2020. In the next column, we have a one-year time charter. The frequency of the data is monthly data. In March 2006, the average value for one-year time charter was $53,000 per day. This basically means that if the VLCC ship was hired on a one-year time charter, it would be paid $53,000 per day for one year, and that value would not change. However, at the same period of time, the average voyage contract was $54,763 per day. This is for a round voyage and will not be for the full year. This time series, which is VLCC earnings, which reflects voyage earnings, is more volatile than the one-year time charter, as you would expect. So to illustrate this, we want to plot this data in the figure here. You can already see that the black line refers to voyage earnings, while the blue line refers to time charter, and you can see it is less volatile. It is interesting to look at these two markets, because these are prices that reflect the same type of ship, but with different contracts. How do we export and plot the data? We select all the data, and then we go to insert and plot the data as you can see. As we have done in previous tutorials, we now have this graph that we can change by double clicking on any part of the figure and we can change the format, for example. I would like to point out that these two datasets are referenced by the same index. The unit of measurement is the same, dollars, so we can just use one index. Otherwise, we would have to have a chart with two indexes, one to the right and one to the left. 